Greetings to you. My name is Luke Roski Metcalf, and I am a Presbyterian pastor here in the Twin Cities area. My wife Andrea is an ELCA pastor. She and I serve together through the ELCA Global Mission Unit as co-country coordinators for the Young Adults and Global Mission program in Nepal. We expected to depart for Nepal in February, along with our two daughters, but those plans were upended by visa delays and travel restrictions related to the pandemic. So here we are, still in Minnesota, navigating these strange times along with everyone else. It's a privilege to be with you today, and thank you very much for this opportunity. Today I'd like to share with you a passage from Luke's Gospel that we usually hear during Holy Week. I find these days similar to Holy Week in that we may have more time to intentionally consider how we go about living and what it means to be in community. So here now is a reading from Luke chapter 19 verses 1 through 10. Listen to the word of God. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through it. A man was there named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was rich. He was trying to see Jesus and see who Jesus was, but on account of the crowd, he could not, because he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree to see him, because he was going to pass that way. And when Jesus came to that place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he hurried down and was happy to welcome him. All who saw it began to grumble and said, He has gone to be with the guest of one who is a sinner. Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Look, half of my possessions, Lord, I will give to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will pay back four times as much. Then Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because he too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek out and to save the lost. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Friends, hear the good news. God is with you now in this very place, at this very moment. More so, God knows who you are and to whom you belong. You are God's beloved. This may be difficult to believe as we live through these unusual times. These days we may feel actually more disconnected from one another or even from God. Remember, no matter how unusual this time is, God knows you, sees you, and has called you by name. Our Gospel lesson today is full of themes and threads connected to important topics of the day, such as wealth, poverty, who are insiders, who are outsiders, repentance, and salvation. What caught my attention today, though, is Zacchaeus, up in that sycamore tree. I wonder what it must have been like for him to be perched up in those branches of that tree. I imagine him precariously balanced on a wobbly branch, just holding on and waiting. Today, as we live life in a pandemic, I can't help but imagine what time has felt like for you. Now, I know that for me, time has felt strange as we wait to move to, to Nepal. For some of us, time may have felt excruciatingly slow and drawn out because of the challenge of trying to work virtually from home and or maybe even teach your children on the side. Time may have also felt oh so slow because visits with friends or loved ones have been so far and few between, if they happen at all. Days may have become unexpectedly empty and full of questions because we find ourselves in the same boat as 40 million other people who are also out of work. 
Oddly enough, on the flip side, time may have also felt as if it's flown by. After all, how many of us can simply, how many of us simply shake our heads when we consider just how much life has changed in the past several months? Zacchaeus wasn't up in the tree for several months, but he was waiting. Zacchaeus knew that Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. He knew that he would pass through Jericho. He just didn't know quite when he'd get there. After all, it doesn't seem like Jesus is much in a rush. In the verses leading up to today's lesson, Jesus stops to teach his disciples about the challenges that are to come. He also stops to heal a blind man. Jesus may have stopped a few more times before passing that sycamore tree and looking up. For Zacchaeus, waiting in that tree, was time anything like what we've experienced over the last few months? Did the time drag out or fly by? Did his mind have time to wander or wonder or doubt? We don't really know. But the funny thing is about Zacchaeus climbing that tree is that he doesn't even necessarily want to be seen by Jesus. Zacchaeus doesn't cry out to Jesus for attention like the blind beggar or others who sought him out. He simply climbs the tree and waits to see the Messiah. I imagine that Time slowed down for Zacchaeus as Jesus approached. I imagine a slow-motion movie scene as Zacchaeus finally sees Jesus, and Jesus looks up, and their eyes meet. The scene snaps back to real time when Jesus says, Zacchaeus. Jesus sees him. He calls him by name, and Zacchaeus' life is transformed. Friends, time is a funny thing these days. When time turns sideways, perhaps this passage can help us remind us, help us help remind us of who we are and to whom we belong. Jesus did as much when he saw Zacchaeus up in that tree and called his name. God has called you, friends, in Christ by name. Just like Zacchaeus, God knows you by name. Yes, we find ourselves navigating uncertain times. As you live through these times, remember that God God calls you by name and that you also belong to God. And for this, we give God thanks and praise. Amen.